my aircraft firmware is version 01020015. Remote controller firmware is 01020000. And the goggles firmware is 01020020. This video is a new version of the DJI FPV FCC Ag that I did at the beginning of the year. Beyond has updated their website, so I'm going to show you how it works now. FCC Ag allows you to improve the transmission between your goggles and the quad. So Beyond has updated their website, so now how it works, you just need to download this file, the so-called file m underscore cfg underscore support it's already on my computer i've already downloaded it and what you need to do is just copy and paste this file at the root of your sd card okay but you may ask yourself the following questions how do i know it works just going to grab the micro sd card where my goggles and as far as I know, uh, well, I just did, I, I did it forever. Even if I format my micro SD card, the FCC act would still remain. There it is. Okay, now just need to switch everything back on. Let me go switch the DJI FPV. I've put it far away from me because it's very noisy. I already have the noise of the goggles, so sorry, guys for the noise so i just give you my goggles remote controller and quad firmware version what you need to do is go to transmission if you go to channel mode just scroll down to channel mode by default auto is selected so you just switch to manual and there you have it if you go to the 40 megahertz bandwidth you have four channels if you go to the 20 megahertz bandwidth you have let me count you have eight channels and if you go to the 10 megahertz bandwidth you have eight channels so this is how you know that it works and at the end i would advise you to switch back to hodo so your channels in the different bandwidth 40 20 and 10 is supposed to increase when you apply the fcc hack i could have shown you that with an action cam but like sometimes talking is just faster my point is even beyond tells you and warns you to not upgrade your dji fpv drone or goggles because they say that the firmware version 01020015 and above is currently not supported by beyond i've just proved you they are wrong this hack would work with any firmware versions cheers